All right, so I want to show the circuit system that I just added. Um, the basic idea is that you can link together these circuits, and then they will, you know, do each circuit does something to its inputs, and then it can output um, as many outputs as it likes to connect to other circuits. And presumably, I mean, eventually, you get a circuit that will actually do something uh, in the game world. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to link together a little circuit that just basically lets us uh, spawn an explosion, uh, you know, in an area of our choosing. Uh, so to do this, the first thing I'll put in is like what I call the XY mouse pad. And it's not so much a circuit as it is like an input device uh, that basically takes, you know, the location of this little dot and that's, it'll output it the X coordinate of that here, the Y coordinate of that uh, right here. And this first output is just uh, either true if I'm clicking, like I am right now, or false if I'm not. Uh, so that way, you know, it, it outputs the X and Y at all, at all times. And, but we can also find out if, if the user is actually, you know, doing something. Um, Alright, so I linked together this earlier, and hopefully I can remember how I did it without taking too much time. Um, Alright, well, the first thing I know I need to do is... Not, not math. Arithmetic. I want to um, sort of pre-multiply these x and y coordinates because right now they default to just negative one to one and that you know this whole area in the game world is way bigger than that so we want you know a little more than that and I think the way the easiest way to do that would be um, we can uh, where is it basic generator so we want a selectable integer I'm gonna put I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put two of them down just because it's kind of cumbersome to try to go up really high with these, I'm just going to take two and multiply them together to get up to a hundred. Uh, set them each to ten. It makes it considerably easier than trying to actually, you know, go up to a hundred with one. Uh, maybe I'll add in the future some easier way to get up to higher numbers, but for now, it's just kind of you got to click repeatedly. Okay, so I have that. So now this essentially multiplies these two numbers together and outputs it right here. So, um, and we want to multiply 100 to both of these inputs, so the easiest way to do that is to go to a duplicator chip. You can have as many outputs as you want, but we just need two. Let's put that there. Go back to the wire tool. Attach that to these wires. Alright, so, kind of, that's kind of a they're kind of right over each other, but that's right. Um, so now, put, attach that there, attach that there. So what this basically just did is now we have this X and Y. So, so let's say I put this right here. That means the X coordinate's negative 1 that's outputting from here. Or if I put it over here, the X coordinate would be positive 1. But since I have these multipliers, it's not going to be, you know, positive 100, which is good because positive 100 in the game is only like maybe over here or something. It's not that far away. Um, okay, so what this accomplished is we now can specify location. Um, now the question is, when do we want to create this explosion? And the answer is, we want to create it only when a user starts to click, not on every single you know frame that he has the mouse down. We just want it just once, and if he clicks again, one time more, so just one, one, not a continuous stream. Easiest way that I found to do this, uh, given the circuits I have created already, um, is to just. I'm going to do a little trickery here. We're going to duplicate this, uh, you know, true and false, true or false value here, depending on whether he clicks. That's what that is. We're going to duplicate that, and we need a way to look at, compare the the previous circuit's value to the current. And the easiest way, or the only way to that is to buffer one of the values. I'll show you what I mean by that. So now, okay, so we we'll just look at this as if there are, just, there are two outputs here. This coming from the buffer, essentially, 
the true and false value from the frame before or from from the iteration before whereas this is the current one and what we what essentially we want to do is only create the explosion if we have just started to click here so this would have to be true at the same time that this is false um, and so the easiest way to do that is to get go to these logic gates you put um, we'll start up by putting and and we put a not here in this line I'll connect these up real quick just like this so now this is going to end up being true whenever this is true and this is false because this false value ends up getting transformed into a true by the not gate so the upshot of all this is that the value coming out of here is going to be true only if the user just started to click and it, it'll shoot out one true value and then immediately back to false so that way we don't get a million you know a million explosions you know just going crazy because the user held down the button and so now real quick we will spawn the object explosion what we want um, we're just gonna link these up here's where we have the x and y pre-multiplied values and we will link up the okay it should work and we have it as you can see uh, depending on where I click it is you know it's the location is changing um, to make it more pronounced I'll bump these up so instead of 100 it's going to be times 400 so now yeah you can see it's, you know clearly I have control of where it is so that's just a simple circuit. Uh, believe me, even with the stuff I added so far, it's basically simple things. You can do, you know, tons of stuff. You can be really creative with it. But and I'm still, I still have a lot more to add. So hope you enjoyed that. I'm sure it's kind of nice being able to talk. It makes it easier to explain what's going on. So probably have more videos with my actual voice. And anyway, yeah, hope you liked it. Keep watching more videos. Should be. I'm hoping this game will be out by the end of the year, but it yeah, could take longer. We'll see. So, thanks for watching.